All right, guys, so I did some further research and identified that our issue is related to the amp. So if we go to sound, all right, and as you can observe, our sound is not adjustable. As you can see, I'm pressing a button and it's not responding. And another day giveaway is that the sound is pointing to our rear right speaker and again this is not even though you can see I'm pressing a button it's not responding so that's another dead giveaway that basically states that you have a hardware failure with your amplifier this is a known issue with the Lexus IS 250 and the Lexus IS 350 going to basically be removing this amplifier so that way we can uh, open it up see you know what type of internal damage is there and see if potentially if using electric cleaner or brake cleaner will clean up water damage right now this amp is just it's dead it's off it's not working so the least thing i can do is throw it in the trash you know <laughs> i mean it's, it's it's basically trash okay prior when i bought this vehicle i had some issues with the audio whenever it rains uh, i will press a button and the audio will either come on or it will go off it definitely seems like to have the extension on and a swivel adjustable head it's beneficial i can also uh Utilize this too. There we go. Make it longer if I need, but I don't. So, adjust it. It's definitely an awkward position. Alright, let's see. Oh, we got it. So now we take both our nuts and put them in a safe spot. I'll just toss it in this box. I don't know how much slack this cable has, but it doesn't seem like it has that much slack. Let's go ahead and disconnect the cables. definitely the cables that's preventing us from moving any further. There's one. There's two. It's always the last one that's the hardest. There we go. It doesn't look too bad, honestly. I was expecting it for it to look super duper rusted. But I could definitely tell you moisture. It's definitely been an issue. I'm quite interested to see if we have any bad capacitators. But these are the wires. I would have thought it had more slack. Oh, actually, yeah, it will. It's uh, a piece right here that's holding it. <clears throat> we don't really need this thing to be stabilized. This wire it makes no sense. Basically, by disconnecting this little hook here. There we go. So now, this wire is a little bit more adjustable. There we go. So, what I'm thinking is to take these wires out of here, cut a hole right here, okay? Pull these wires through here, all right? And then just lay the amplifier on top of the black box like that so that way it doesn't get any moisture from here because the moisture comes in through here if we were to take our cables cut a hole run them through there prop that back down connect it like that don't have to worry about moisture down there
this is the model. Just in case you guys want to know. And again, you can definitely tell moisture. Moisture has definitely affected this unit. So, what I'm going to do is start taking off these uh, screws. Got one here, got one here, one here, one here. And see if that will remove this cover. I don't feel anything on here, so. We also got screws here. To remove this thing, we got to remove the screws inside here. So, let's get to it. dusty and it definitely looks like water damage it's corroded not like super super bad but it's nasty in there you can see some some deposits you know like liquid deposits I don't see any capacitors that is you know fat or exploded this one looks like it just got glue you know from manufacturer. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely filthy in there. So let's keep breaking apart to see if we can tear this up, you know, get further down. I wanna, this, this, this thing gotta come off. It's probably just this tape. There we go. Jeez. Yeah, there's no worries, we can always bend it back. All right, so it looks like our next step would be to remove this, this, that, and that, and that should remove this thing. So I'm going to remove these screws and I'll be back with you guys. So I got the screws removed. Now I can just lift this bad boy up and that is now off. Right here, there's this little tab here that's basically turned. So if you can kind of see it's turned around, which is preventing this from coming out. Much easier to deal with meter rules. Use my finger to kind of provide some leverage. Now let's see if we can get it out. Yep, got one side, got the other side. And now there we go. So, yeah, it's, it's filthy. It's dirty, it's dusty. I don't see any, like, true significant, like, bam, corrosion. You know, I don't see nothing like that. However, I do see deposits. So, it's definitely telling me that something gotten in here. I kind of want to see if I can get this thing off. So, it looks like we can take this off. One, two, and three, four. Yep. Then it's got another hook right here. Let's just try to grab more. This thing, yep, there we go. The end nose was much, much, much more easier to, to do. There we go, turn that around. Scan the area, see anything else? Nope. All right. But yeah, I wanna uh, clean this up as good as possible so that way when we go to clean the board, we'll be in good hands. So I'm just getting these two screws at the top off. Trying to put everything in, you know, one potential uh, location. Now what I'm doing, um, I can't guarantee that this is actually gonna resolve the issue. However, it's gonna encourage me to, you know, purchase that replacement amplifier just pop 
pop up. Yep. Okay, I see. So there was a wire. Let's see, what's this thing? Yeah, there we go. So these things were connected here. Okay. So looking at this thing. Mm, it definitely seems dirty. I can't really see underneath here. Let's see. I don't see any blown capacitors. I mean, that's a good sign. So hopefully it might just be dirt. Yeah, hopefully. We'll see. Let's get this bad boy cleaned. I just want to state this unit is dead. Anything that I'm doing, it's not going to hurt it. I'm doing this in a manner with the regard that this unit, this amplifier is dead, so I have nothing to lose, okay? So, do this at your own risk if you decide to pursue this. This is brake cleaner. Little of what's there. have a lot of brake cleaner on me but I guess I've been clean. Alright so now we're hitting it with the uh, electric clean. Now what I want is to uh, find an old toothbrush and start scrubbing. Yeah it's still it's still some garbage on here so let me get a toothbrush. Got a nice and soft toothbrush. I could definitely tell by using a toothbrush, it went from like a dark color to a green color, the board. And you can kind of see the bristles. Definitely felt it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to reach in, clean these contacts best as possible but keep your face away definitely don't want to get the stuff in your eyes back Daddy. yep oh, this all right guys so what i'm about to do now is put everything back together i'm not going to record it because that's going to be you know it's still a timely process. I want to get everything back together, connect it up to uh, the vehicle, and you know, take it from there. See how it, see how she works. So we'll see. If it doesn't work, then you know we'll proceed with the next step, which would be to basically uh, purchase a replacement. Let's go ahead and slap these connections on. You can't get them wrong because they only go in one way. Or the other. Doesn't sound like speakers are even on. Because we will hear like some sound. What I'm going to do is I'm going to purchase a replacement uh, audio amplifier. Uh, I believe that's the next step to go. And I believe that's going to resolve our issue. Again, there's been issues that I've had prior with my uh, audio system. So it's it's been showing signs that the amplifier has been on its way out the door. And finally, the day has come where it completely died out my whole point of making this video is to kind of provide some troubleshoot steps 
so that way you guys can know exactly like which steps you guys should go before you decide to actually make that big purchase of purchasing a uh, oh, amplifier. Now, as I previously I stated, I I've go. seen an amplifier on eBay for a Lexus ES350 for 75 bucks. So the ones that I've seen for the Lexus IS250 and 350, let's just say uh, so far the price is around 300. If I could find one for like 125, I think I'm gonna just rock with it because you know, I could take the chance of buying the ES350 amplifier, which physically looks the same, but different, you know, a couple of digits on there um, and buy that for 75. But if I find an IS, IS250 or 350 uh, amp for say 125, that's gonna be worth it. It's definitely gonna be worth it. Um, it's hard to drive this vehicle without without audio. It's just hard, you know, especially on a beautiful day like this. You just wanna, you wanna roll down the sunroof and cruise and listen to some music. You know, this is my cruising vehicle. Just love music and stuff, but right now we can't do nothing. <laughs> we can't do nothing. Um, I mean, we can drive it, but we really can not enjoy it. That basically confirms that it's the amplifier. So simple terms, if you guys see your speaker to the far right, you can't adjust. You can't adjust any settings for sound. That's a dead giveaway for amplifier issue. All right, guys, quick update. So uh, right now I am looking at eBay for a replacement amplifier. This is for the Lexus IS250. Uh, as you can see, price is around $240. Got some people charging like $600, you know, some $495. It's, it, it gets up there, guys. <laughs> and it's, it's definitely for the IS250 and IS350. The price is just, uh, it's up there. But the interesting thing is the Lexus ES350, just look at this thing. It looks so similar. This is the Lexus ES350. Just look at the connectors in general, not the wiring, but just look at the connectors, okay? This is ES350, IS250. You see, you see how similar that connector is? Okay, similar. Let's look at that connector. That also looks similar, okay? Just looking at these connectors, uh, the IS250, IS350, and ES350, they have similar connectors. And the amplifier looks totally similar. All right. Now, thing to keep in mind is that uh, Lexus, Toyota, they didn't build these amplifier. They outsource it. Um, from Pioneer, which, you know, let's not get too technical, <laughs> but we know uh, majority of these businesses, they also outsource parts. So there's got to be some similarities when it comes to manufacturers building, you know, amplifiers uh, for Toyota. I'm willing to uh, actually see if it will work. I am honestly willing to go there for you guys to make the purchase and see if it works or if it doesn't work. So as my son is trying to climb over me, uh, guys, don't forget to uh, like, comment, and subscribe to my uh, channel. Uh, stay tuned for the next update uh, to see exactly when the replacement amplifier comes and see if it resolves the issue, so.